Hi! So it's Friday, thank goodness, because it's been a week, you guys. It's been a week. I have a whole huge list of things to do. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, this is my list. I have my Ulta coupon because the Alta coupon. I have a whole list of things to do. I need to run to Hirschfields because they carry Benjamin Moore paint because that is the paint that my painter originally used for the white planked wall. And there is like a half white planked wall upstairs in the loft. So that's gonna get painted this weekend. As well as hopefully I can start my floorboards this weekend, maybe. I might not get any color on them, but I will definitely get some prepping done because I do actually need to sand them, which like really sucks, but whatever, it's fine. So I need to go to Lowe's and get that. And then I am gonna run to Ulta because it's not really on the way home, but it's like kind of on the way. There's this toner that I use. It's the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner and I'm almost out. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna survive the weekend. I might, but I don't know. So that's what the coupon's for because it's one of the brands that you can use the coupons. And then also I am looking for my, like I have a concealer that I really like from NARS. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer and I think I'm the color vanilla if I remember right. So there there is a JC Penney's that has a Sephora inside it, like really close to where Ulta is. So I think I'm gonna go do that. So um, I'm not gonna bring my camera with me because I don't carry a purse typically. So um, it's kind of weird when I'm here holding like my phone, my wallet, and my keys, and then the camera. It's like there's like too there's too much in my hands, you guys. There's too much in the hands. So um, I will probably just like do a haul for you guys later because I think that is probably the best idea. And my mom is at the townhouse. She actually only got there about an hour or two ago she had like a busy morning with some other stuff going on also update on the flooring situation Lowe's called me today apparently they're having like some staffing issues so my delivery didn't happen today which like super sucks so it's not gonna happen now until next Thursday so I mean I work in building materials I understand things don't always work out the way you planned the issue really remains that the flooring company will not call me until the items have arrived I asked the gal if she could explain the situation and say hey we already pushed this person a week out can you just give them a call so you can get on their schedule because I actually heard when I first signed up for this stuff that the flooring company was two weeks out for installation. So that would put me into the week right before July 1st. So that like July 4th weekend. So I really, really don't wanna move on July 4th weekend. I would love for it to be the weekend prior, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So we'll see. I really hope that the flooring company actually calls me sometime next week and we can just like figure out a time. Just like get me on your schedule. Like, you know, it's fine if it's like further not further out but like pushed out two weeks that's not a problem but I just I just want to get on a schedule you know what I mean so anyway that's the update for now so I'm gonna go shopping and then um we'll go back to the townhouse I'll show you the update and then I'll do a little haul for you in a little bit okay bye all right I am done shopping that took way longer than necessary but whole another story that I'll get into in just a moment but mom did progress today she was only here for like couple of hours so let me show you what she did over in the main like walk-in area entryway whatever she did a little bit of cutting in so she did like whoops this I'm trying to look use the viewfinder at the same time so she did like a little bit of brushing but you know she was just kind of like over it after a while which I would be too because she's been working her little took us off but she said she got the guest room pretty much like completely done except for the floor and whatnot. Oh, and we also, after I closed out the vlog yesterday here, uh, took off all the tape, so, except for the floor. We kept it on the floor. Ooh, it's all done in here. It looks so nice. Nice, I'm excited. Okay, so I promised you guys a haul. Let's talk about the haul. I went to, Hirschfields, which is a paint store that carries Benjamin Moore paint because Benjamin Moore brand paint is the paint that my painter used for da -da -da, the white wall. So I wanted to get exactly the same thing. Let me flip you around, I'll show you what I got. All right, so at Hirschfields, I got two more gallons of the Advance in the satin. And then that's all I got at Hirschfields. And by the way, this stuff is freaking expensive. 
it's like $55 a gallon, and that was with the contractor discount, by the way. All right, so then I went to Lowe's, and I got the kills for all the baseboards. People have been asking me questions, like, are you gonna paint this stuff? Are you gonna paint your cabinets? The answer is yes. However, the whole kitchen, I'm dealing with later, because that's just a lot. However, the baseboards upstairs, like in the hallway and the bedrooms, I would like to do before I move in if possible because it's gonna be such a pain in the butt once I get furniture in here. Ideally, if I have enough time, I would love to do all the rails, all of this, the little landing thing there, um, the railing. I would love to do it all, but I don't know how much I can get done in the time span I have. So, to answer all the people asking me, that's what's up. So, we'll see. So, I actually found some rods that I kinda like they're from Allen and Roth, and these are 72 to 144. So I got these, they're like, like I don't know, they're like little artichoke looking things. I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. However, okay, so here's the issue I have with the Lowe's that I go to. There's never anybody in the aisles, first of all, to like help you. You know how you go to some hardware stores and it's like, can somebody just leave me alone because you just feel like everyone's watching all the time? Not at the Lowe's that I go to, so I don't know what's going on there, but it's just strange. Oh, by the way, it's the same Lowe's that I bought my flooring from, which obviously we know the flooring didn't come today. My question was, I wanna make this into a double rod, so I bought the little conversion kit, which is in these bags. Let's find it. So here's the conversion kit bracket. So it's the same brand, Allen & Roth, which, by the way, these don't match at all. There was no black ones, there was only the like, these bronzy ones, which I don't know why it's not focusing. So anyway, these bronzy ones. So I bought a can of spray paint so I can spray it. And I bought three of them because of course you want one on the outside, or two, one on each outside and then one in the center, especially if it's gonna be like a long one, which this will be very long. But my question was, I wanted to make it, you know, bigger than 72 inches, you know? Like, it, this goes all the way to 144. But all their conversion kits, which are these bad boys back here in the white boxes for the, you know, like the back rod, only go to 84 inches. And so I was super confused. And of course it took probably about a good 15 minutes for somebody to like actually give me an answer. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. I also got sanding blocks. Here's one of them. I have another one in here somewhere. Oh, my dad wanted these. I need to bring these back to my parents' place. Just, I don't know. I don't know why he wants those. I also got some drop cloths. I got a, whoop, like a canvas drop cloth as well. And then I also got this, because I thought this would be good. Um, it's just like a little fill pencil, like a little wax fill pencil. I think it's wax. Yeah, it's Minwax, so, um, like, for all the white stuff, but in case I want to, you know, do that. Oh, here's the other, um, sander. It's the same thing, 220 grit. That's what my painter told me to use on all of my baseboards upstairs. So I'm gonna take these bad boys home for my father, but I think that's gonna be it from the townhouse today. I'm super, super tired. It's already, like, 7 o'clock, and... I'm starving, because normally by seven I've like already eaten and I'm like in my PJs. Not today, guys, not today. Plus it didn't help that I like left work late again, but I leave work late every day, so I guess it's not really a shocker. But anyway, um, we're gonna be here at the townhouse pretty much for the duration of the day tomorrow. However, I'm gonna try to sleep in because that is like the one thing that gives me life on the weekends is Friday night, I know that I can sleep in. My dog still wakes me up at like 4.35 o'clock anyway, because it's like his time to go pee. I can get him to come back in bed with me and lay down. So I'm really hoping that the dog lets me sleep in a little bit, which he let me sleep in last weekend, which was really nice. So I'm hoping he does the same tonight or tomorrow, however that works. But let's go back to my parents' house and we'll do some stuff over there maybe. I don't know. So I am back home now. Had a little bit of dinner with my parentals. And I figured I would show you what I got at Ulta and Sephora. All right, so let's start with the Sephora first because I went there first. Um, I only got one thing at each place. So I got the NARS Creamy Concealer in... Um, what color did I get? I got it in light. I actually really wanted the color vanilla because 
I feel like it goes better with my skin tone, but they didn't have it. So this one's actually just slightly lighter, but I think I think it'll do. Yeah, I think uh, uh, I think it'll do. I don't know. I look so pink in this light because it's like I don't know. I don't use a lot of it. I just use like a dab. Anyway, okay. And then at Ulta, I got this. It looks like like a bottle of elixir or something. This is the the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner. I use this every day. Um, the bottle that I have is like their old packaging. They just changed their packaging not too long ago, and I was just using up the stuff that I had, so had to get this. And that's all I got. Not very exciting. But today I am doing laundry, which is the background noise that you hear. And my bed's all messed up. Well, it's kind of messed up anyways. I'm washing all my pillowcases because I do that every single week to try to keep my skin clear. You know, just like the oils and such. But let's see if we can get the dog on camera because challenge accepted people, I saw your comments in today's vlog. And yes, I will show Doyle in every single Bloom. Hey Doyle! Doyle! He doesn't want to come. He wants to sit on his little Parisian rug. Be like, I go with the rug so much better. So there's Doyle. That's what he's doing right now. Nothing. He's doing nothing. That's it. You're gonna say hello to your friends? They all seem to like you a lot. No? Nope. He's watching my dad open the iPad. What? 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 You're such a funny boy. <laughs> Silly guy. Now that I've harassed the dog thoroughly. Um, I am going to hang out in here and I've got the laundry going right now. So I've got to wait for at least one more load because now that I got more people, we got more loads of laundry, guys. And um, I am just gonna hang out and watch a little bit of Orange is the New Black. The new season just came out and I'm excited to watch. I can't believe it's already season five. I've watched it since the beginning, pretty religiously. So, which means I like binge watched it, you know, as soon as it came out. So, like any good Orange is the New Black fan, I'm gonna start watching it right now. So maybe I'll watch a couple of episodes, maybe just one, I don't know. Depends on how long the um, dryer takes but i'm gonna close out balloon day nine from here i'm not sure when this vlog is gonna go up on saturday because like i said i'm planning on sleeping in and i think i think i'll be able to edit before that because the editing editing these vlogs is actually pretty easy because i don't do like a lot of extras you know what i mean and everything is kind of like in order like it shows everything in order where some of my videos I have to kind of like go back and find certain clips and it's kind of a pain in the butt but whatever so yeah hopefully I get it up for you guys before I head over to the townhouse and then I will be painting for pretty much the entire day so yeah but I'll show you the progress once we're done I don't think I'm gonna do like a time lapse it's too hard and this camera only goes on for like 25 minutes so it wouldn't be like that big of a change or interesting to really watch but um, I will show you like what I'm using and like that kind of stuff because people seem to be very interested in that so I will show like what brand of stuff I'm using and I am gonna jet here but I hope you guys have a great day or night or afternoon whenever you're watching this and I hope you're enjoying the balloon and Doyle is coming over here you gonna come over here oh he's coming to say hello oh, hello my little cute stuff. Oh goodness. He loves his Erin Condren blanket, by the way. He thinks it's his because it probably really is. <laughs> so anyway, Doyle and I are gonna go. We are gonna watch some Orange is the New Black and hang out and wait for the laundry to be done. It is a rockin' Friday night over here in the favorite daughter Emily household. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. Say bye. I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye.